Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of 90 Second News. I'm your host, Jared Barnes. Today is May 23rd, 2022. Thanks for joining us today. Um, I'm going to get right into it today because I have three pretty interesting stories that I'd like to talk about, and I have some picks for after the show as well. So let's waste no time and get right into the news. And first thing I want to talk about is Golden State took a 3-0 lead last night on the Mavs. It was a crucial game that Dallas needed to win but was unable to do so. Doncic scored 40 but didn't receive much help from his other teammates as long-range specialist Maxi Kleba and Reggie Bullock when it combined 0 for 15 from 3, and the Mavs as a whole went 13 of 45 from 3. The Warriors are now thinking sweep in this series as their depth and play look like it has been way, way too much for the Mavs to handle at this time. Now, in other news yesterday, Justin Thomas wins the PGA Tour Championship in a rally. Thomas started the day seven shots behind the lead, but thanks in part to a 65-foot birdie putt, he was able to get momentum going for his record-tying comeback. As he started off his comeback, JT had six players in front of him, but none of those six players had ever won a major. And yesterday's major went into the playoffs for the first time since 2017. It was between Will Zalatoris and Justin Thomas, but JT's putting ability is what put him over for the win. And some other news, divisions could be a thing of the past in college football. Now, this become this is due to a recent ruling made by the NCAA Division I Council on Wednesday, which relaxed restrictions on college football conference championship games. The ruling allows the conferences to pick who plays in the game by winning percentage instead of division winners itself. The Pac-12 will be adding it this year, which means that the North and South divisions will now longer will no longer now be a thing. The Mountain West Conference will be adopting it in 2023. Both conferences have said that the divi- decision was made to better position their teams to have a possibility to land in the college football playoffs. That was 90 second news. And that division thing is wild to me that that is becoming a thing, but it looks like it could be the future or it could be something that marks the end of college football as a whole. Now to get into my picks, I only have two for the night and that would be the Boston Celtics money line and Bam at a bio to, to record a double double. Thanks for watching. I'm Jared Barnes. I hope you have a great day and a great rest of your week. This was 90 Second News.